there's something about these fast times that just seems a little off and not in a nefarious way at all. And not oh, even in a sh- shoe tech. Are you doing shoes? Not even are you doing shoes, no, 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 not shoes. Please either. don't do shoes. I'm not even too early to I'm do not shoes. even thinking about shoes. They could have been doing it barefoot for all I care. Okay. <laughs> there's just something about the past two years that the Bowerman athletes have been handed or given or the opportunity that has never happened in the history of the sport. And by that opportunity, I mean, they have been given the ability to basically create their own track and field federation. The Bowerman track and field federation. Yeah. Yeah. Where they are members of the Bowerman diamond league where all their meets are Bowerman mm-hmm. sanctioned with the Bowerman yeah. approved pacers with the Bowerman approved dates, Bowerman approved locations approved, approved, approved. Right. Yeah. And I think when you have that, you basically are able to truly peak to your yes. peak is of all peaks. And I think that's what, that's why at least Cranny can run the third fastest time ever. It's because Kara Goucher was never given two straight years of like, yeah. here, you're going to run on your own track and we're just going to hire a timer. And every time you at your all time peak, we're going to count it as a time, you know? And I think uh, when we look at these marks, even on the men's side, and you see like, we'll talk about the men's side after, but like, I think we just have to put a little perspective on it is that these marks are given an advantage of unique yeah, but that, circumstances and opportunities that I think a lot of other athletes, if they had, could be running in that same realm. Yeah, but that doesn't That's explain all. why. But but even to be the best among Bowerman takes a lot. So if you, if you just compare apples to apples here, it's remarkable that Cranny is beating Krisha Schweizer. That's what I'm saying, is even in that world that they've created, she's still rising to the top. And I think that's mighty impressive. No, I agree with you 100%. You know what they always say in football, especially when it comes to college football and bowl games, and they say, man, you give Nick Saban a month to prepare, he's going to figure out a way to slow down that quarterback. You give Jerry Schumacher a year or two to create a schedule, to choreograph a meet with all of the depth that he has, with all the resources he has, with all of the knowledge and planning that he is capable of and the minute details that he structures for these athletes, this is what you're going to see. So I think you're a hundred percent right. A hundred percent right with this. We saw it with the, the Woody Kincaid breakthrough. We saw it last summer with Shelby and Chris Schweizer and Mohamed just dropping monster times. You're right. People want to ascribe it to other reasons. And I'm sure there's a percentage here or a half a percentage here or there, but I think you're right they've been allowed and they've been able to create this shadow track series where they control every single detail. And I think that 100% matters because even in the world of halves, and as you, you mentioned, you know, Kara Goucher or any star from the past, Chris Zielinski, whoever was a sponsored Nike athlete with a lot of resources, they haven't had this level of control over their racing opportunities. And they haven't been in a group that's this deep that is able to provide what they can provide. Sean McGordy paced through 8K perfectly in that race, right? On the women's side, Vanessa Frazier then set it up for Courtney Frerichs. Right? You're getting a silver medalist in the steeplechase. She's not worried about the steeplechase, right? She's being a great teammate and she's taking them there through 6,400 meters. And then they have so much depth to work off of. I think you give Jerry Schumacher that blank canvas and say your job is to have these people run as fast as they want you don't need to go to europe you don't need to worry about anything else other than how quickly can they get across the line this is the result 